you are watching Janelle Animal's YouTube channel. Want to be taller? Radical surgery permanently extends your legs. These surgeons will saw through your leg bones and reset them to give you a permanent height boost. In the last year, at least 30 men have made an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon named Dr. Kevin Pippershod to have him saw through their perfectly healthy leg bones. At his Limb Plast X Institute in Las Vegas, Debbie, Debbie Parshad cuts through patients femurs or tibias, forces the bones to separate with metal implants, and sends them on their way to heal. Once their bones grow back, they'll be several inches taller, like that one scene in the 1997 sci-fi film, Gattaca. It's no secret that taller men have an advantage when it comes to dating, reads a Limb Blast Institute, X Institute press release. In the age of digital matchmaking, the desire to appear taller has gained prominence, particularly for men with below average height. He, Debbie Parsha, dismissed the press release as marketing hyperbole though he didn't quite rule out dating as a motivation for leg extension surgery. I don't think dating is the main reason people to do that, he said. I certainly see that. I don't think it's less of a reason. If you feel unconfident, I can change that. Sometimes one or two inches makes a world of difference. The world of difference, however, comes with an outrageous price tag. Leg extension surgery at the Limb Plast X Institute can run customers over $100,000. Limiting the clientele, Debbie Parshad sees to the very rich, very rich and, the pro and probably the very insecure. Officially called distraction osteogenesis, the leg extension surgery involves cutting either the femur, tibia, or both, and using metal braces to extend the bones. Over time, new bone cells will grow, effectively making each leg up to three inches longer. For nearly a century, doctors have used it up to, the, to help patients with congenital defects or after traumatic injuries, but now it's become the latest trend in extreme cosmetic surgery. Leg up. Before Debbie Parshad started Limb Plast X in late 2018, most of his cases were for patients who needed leg extension surgery in order to walk and live normally. If a child's growth plates, the soft tissue that grows over time and forms new bones are injured, one of their legs' growth could end up stunted. The same can happen to adults who were in a car crash or had part of their bone removed to, quick, to treat cancer or a serious infection. In all, in all those cases, a leg, a leg extension could be used to balance out their legs' lengths. For those patients, leg extension would be a necessary step toward recovery, the goal being to restore balance and symmetry rather than to walk away a few inches taller. Most doctors who perform leg extension do so for clinical cases, and Debbie Barshad continues to treat those patients as well. But as clinics like Limb Plast X Institute and others emerge, leg extension has become another way for healthy people to enlist doctors to correct what they perceive to be personal flaws. Debbie Parshad now compares the procedure to butt implants, nose jobs, and even provocatively gender reassignment surgery. The concept is not something that's new. That's new. We knew we could do this for a long time, Debbie Parshad said. It's just that now technology is catching up with what we knew we could do. So now we can push new applications. For private cl clinicians, clinicians, that represents a lucrative new marketplace. But for the patients, it means tens of thousands of dollars and months of physical therapy. 
for insecurities that might have been healed in years, but passed through therapy or, or platform shoes. Confidence boost. Effect, uh, elective Lyme lengthening came came under newfound scrutiny in September when Jezebel ran an essay in which the author described how her brother died from medical complications after he had his legs extended by a French orthopedic surgeon named Dr. John Mark Boucher. We do not perform cosmetic lengthening for providing more capacity for, special, uh, for specifically dating or getting a higher salary. Wishe told Fujiri in, in an email, the main goal, he said, is to increase confidence and self-esteem of patients. Some males are telling them that they are not taken seriously due to their height. They perceive it as a decreasing, as this, uh, they perceive it as decreasing, decreasing their social and work capacity. For instance, when they are top managers. Some short women also have the same problem, but experts aren't quite sold on the procedure. Dr. Laura Cabrera, a bioethicist at Michigan State University Center for Ethics and Humanities in the Life Sciences, didn't mince her words, arguing that cosmetic leg extension was indefensively frivolous. Even if people are paying out of pocket for this intervention, interventions, you're still consuming time of experts who are doing this for non-medical purposes. She said, you're consuming time and materials that could be used for people who really need these types of interventions. About those out-of-pocket payments, extending femurs, those are the upper leg bones at limb Plast X will cost someone about $75,000 a tibia extension will run them $79,000. Afterward, the optional procedures removed to remove metal implants cost up to $34,000 on top of that. Cabrera also shared concerns regarding how patients are selected, educated, and evaluated before going under the knife. Patients must be made to understand the risks and limitations of the procedure. Cabrera said and ought to be evaluated to make sure that they have a reasonable understanding and expectation of what the procedure can do for them. Both surgeons, Debbie Parshad and Boucher, told that they hold extensive meetings with patients to evaluate whether they're prepared for the procedure. Both uh, said they've turned prospective patients away when red flags emerge. The reality of a lengthening procedure needs to be known and understood, and we need to evaluate the real root of the need, she said. Some focus needs to be made about the psychological complications. When patients are unstable or have no realistic expectation nor clear understanding of the procedure, they have some difficulty to judge what is good for medical purposes, he added. Some have the tendency to deviate from recommendations. This induces a lower functional result and eventually complications. Height plight. Even some men who are already tall are pursuing and getting approved for the procedure. When Insider profiled Debbie Parshad, the article included the patient's before and after pictures. The man was nearly six feet tall beforehand, Debbie Parshad said, a far cry from the ideal patient. Portrait of short men who might be overlooked at work due to their stature. He was one of our taller patients. He was a very reasonable guy. He'd been thinking about it for a long time, Debbie Parshad said. We spent a long time discussing. His whole thing was to be over six foot. Debbie Parshad went on to explain that he wants to make sure that prospective patients have reasonable expectations, specifically about how added height will benefit them personally, professionally, and romantically, and if they seem willing to do the necessary rehabilitation work when it comes time for physical therapy. On dating apps and stuff, women will literally say, don't swipe right unless you're over six foot, Demi Parshad said. For him, he felt romantically limited. 
it's no different than why women and men get rhinoplasty buttocks for as long but as long as they have an understanding of what they have to go through what the risks and their uh, are, are and stuff i think it's reasonable because his services are so expensive debbie parshad said says his cosmetic Patients come in well-educated and tend to have realistic goals and expectations for what the procedure can do for them. He spoke at length about how much he appreciated patients who understand the surgery's limitation and who could trust to complete the full rehabilitative regimen of physical therapy. I think this, like butt implants and stuff, will be more common in that world. I think that's something that's so powerful too. People will always be three inches taller or whatever you made them, Devi Parshad said. They will die and be in their casket and, and they can pose three inches longer. It's very permanent. I think this may be more expensive, but it's a very permanent result. It can never be taken away, he added. I've not had one patient who's regretted having it done so that's it thank you for watching Janelle Animals YouTube